Hello guys, and welcome back for another episode of Let's Play the Hills of Symphonia Chronicles. On the last episode, we finished the Asgard Human Ranch, defeated Kevar, and watched him get stabbed twice and slashed three times, and he died. It was awesome! In this episode, uh, we're looking at the synopsis, because we are going toward the Tower of Mana near Loon. We also have this, Pietro escaped from the head loss. It's mine to a curse, apparently healing formula from Bolta's book located in Tower of Mana, so we need to get that book from the Tower of Mana as well. Those are our two active quests, I believe. Seal of Wind. Oh, we already did that, didn't we? I don't know why it's still there. Fate of the Chosen. Uh... We already know that. I'm an angel. Alright. Alright, let's just head out because I think we are supposed to head toward Lewin next. I believe. Because they didn't really tell me where to go next, so. Let's just go ahead and head out. Avenge! He has avenged his mother again! The one who killed your mother was your father. Are you really- Oh wow, you're driving him toward more vengeance. Who forced Dad to kill Mom's Gavar, right? He created that situation. Yes, that is true. <laughs> it was a silly question. I'm sorry. Whoa, he apologized? Who are you? What have you done with Kratos? No, oh, I sh Take me places. Alright, so... Where's my map? Yep, uh, we should head toward Loon, which is right over there, so might as well keep this in. If I avoid all the battles, this shouldn't take too long. Fortunately, these guys tend to like to show up and try to ambush me, even if they're the weakest possible enemies for the job. Alright. Yep, nothing much going on, just traveling here. Yeah, go, noish. Oh, come on. Again, they really needed a system in this game where enemies of certain levels don't attack you, because that was two ladybugs that attacked me, and it was just pathetic. Right. Yeah, I want to see if Tempest and Photon do anything. I don't know. They might, they might not. And on the off chance they do, that'll be awesome. Alright, let me go ahead and check the synopsis to make sure I know where I'm going. Yep, the mysterious seal is up there. Over there, so let me go into Lewin first and see if there's anything in Lewin that I need to do. Chicken or the egg? Oh boy. The Zions are half-elves. Yes, genus. It is said they're almost entirely composed of half-elves. Why'd you bring this up all of a sudden? I was just thinking they're the same blood as I am. How could they do such terrible things? Hmm, that's right, you're an elf. Way to forget that. He's your best friend. Yeah, I know what you mean. When I think about how they're at least half human, I have to wonder how they can do things they do. Don't you think it's because they've been persecuted? It's because they treat us like cattle. Which came first, chicken or the egg? Uh, a circle has no beginning. Uh, that's a Harry Potter reference, by the way. Ravenclaw Tower, the tower asks Harry, uh, which came first, the chicken or the egg, and Luna says, a circle has no beginning, which is true. If something forms a circle, it has no beginning. Quickly saving, just in case. Alright, we are saved up and ready to head inside Luin, see if anything here has changed. Now, it's still in ruins. Luin is in ruins. It doesn't look like there's anyone else here, so the people that escaped didn't come back here. I didn't see them in Asgard. Yeah, like, literally no one is here. Not even the guys that were here before, so... Hmm, the synopsis doesn't really say anything about it. Mysterious seal, we already know that. Fate of the Chosen, we know that. To become an angel. Uh, blah blah blah. Uh, blah 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 blah. Proceed to destroy the Lord's having second thoughts about what was best. When was my lord, but uh, they decided to return to Lewin for the time being. Alright, we already knew that. Hmm. Alright, I guess the only thing we can do is go to the Tower of Mana. I don't think there's anything optional that we're missing along the way. Although we could be. I want to try to head over to that one lake that gets mentioned a lot. 
That's said to like have a unicorn or something like that. It's not far off the road, it's just over where I'm pointing now, right there. So let me just try to go straight there. Actually, no, I'll stick to the road because in the um, grass you can't tell when the enemies are coming near you. <sighs> can't believe it took me so long to pick this game back up again. Not quite that it took me so long to pick it up again. I wanted to play it, it's just I'm not going to play it when I'm not recording it. I was thinking about maybe doing, like, a personal playthrough. Come on, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. But I decided not to because I would give my blind playthrough an unfair advantage, so... Let's see if Uma see has anything here. Oh, we will at least have a little bit of a cutscene here. Hello! What the heck is that? It's a unicorn! I knew they were real! It's beautiful. It's a unicorn, Rain! It's a unicorn! Why is it... There are still unicorns left on this side. This side? Oh, nothing. I wonder if we can make contact with it. Do you intend to make use of healing powder said to exist to heal the unicorn horn? Um, if we have the unicorn horn, we may be able to save... Colette and Clara. Hmm? Really? It's possible. It is said that healing arts developed from studying the unicorn horn. We must find a way to get to the unicorn. How do we get over there? Can we just swim to it? Wouldn't be able to hold your breath for that long. Anything else we could do? Hi, Sheena. What? Um, we can summon Undin, who exists somewhere in this world, to control the water's mana. The summon spirit? We only have one who can summon the summon spirits. I... I haven't formed a pack yet, but if I can form the pack, then I can summon. Sheena's a summoner! I'm a guardian user, but I can summon too. Heard that the art of summoning was lost very long ago. Well, it still exists. Anyway, if you're not interested, I'm not gonna force you. We need the unicorn horn! Alright, then... Let's go to the seal of water. Indeed, should be at that seal. Throw the geyser. Awesome. Alright, so uh, we're going back to the water seal. Quite a detour. I have a feeling those two don't quite approve. Lloyd's bad habit. More skits. Ah, Summon spirit. Hmm, wonder what the, how the pack works. I can't wait to see it. Oh boy. There he goes again. <laughs> Won't you get bored halfway through? Shut up. I'm interested, so I'm excited, okay? That's fine. It's fine that you're interested. The problem is the way you get bored with everything. Shut up! Stop ganging up on me! <laughs> Stop telling us to shut up! Talking about your attitude. Shut up, all of you! <laughs> Marine gets all the men to shut up. Alright, Thota Geyser. That was... That's all the way on the other side of the mountain. I'm cutting out that trek. You guys don't need to see that. Yeah, the pursuit of strength. We have a skit today. Hooray! More skits. Cartoos. What? Have I grown stronger? Your sword skills have certainly improved. However, however, you realize that alone is not enough, have you not? That's why you felt compelled to ask. When sh what strength you seek, to what path you seek, no one but you knows the answer. So that's cryptic. I guess you're right. However, there undoubtedly still remain even more fighting techniques that you do not know. Continue to fight alongside your comrades, defeat your enemies, you may find answers along the path. Basically saying, level the fuck up. <laughs> I'll trust that one day I'll find the answers, in the meantime I'll start with what I can do now. Hooray! Oh, that didn't sound like me at all. <laughs> Mastering was added to the training manual. Let's go ahead and take a look at that, because that sounds important. Yeah, that it sounds very basic. The, the, the training manual. Mastering. Battles are assessed by grade. Grade does not affect the story in any way. It's simply a measure of tactics used in battle. If an enemy is defeated in battle with style, a technical smash is awarded? I don't even know what that is. When the unison engages at max, you can start the unison attack at any time. That's, that's obvious. Summoning. 
When Sheena is in overlimit mode, she can summon spirits whom she has made a contract with. However, by summoning, she loses her all over limit, so be cautious. So basically, use it at the end of her over limit. The only problem is there is no over limit bar, so it's really hard to tell when she's about to lose her over limit. So yeah, we're almost there. Might as well keep the rest of the check in. Oh, come on. I forgot. Apparently, for some reason, this isn't in the range of the guidepost monument, so I have to walk it from here. Really, really thought I could just, you know, ride uh, Noish all the way over here. So I'm going to quit. Wait, there's a save point there. I might as well just go ahead and go into the docks and just go right into it. I still can't believe you got to take the friggin' wash tubs. I have to go to this one, don't I? No? Yeah. Uh, can we... Please? Like, do we have to talk to someone first, or...? Like, I know we can go to Thota Geyser. She not afraid of failure. God damn, these skits are just taking forever. Oh, it's adorable! I may fail again. Sheena, please, just... Looks like you're go If it looks like you're going to fail, I'll save you! Doll. Oh. That thing's so adorable! Now can I please use these goddamn pieces of shits? Like, why can't I? I know I can go back to Thota Geyser, P please? Can I use the damn wash tubs? Why am I not allowed to use them? Do I have to go in here and, like, do something? I don't know. Oh, yeah, we have to go over here, and that's kind of annoying. Ah. Uh, Doo-doo-doo. I love this music. Hopefully we can get this entire thing done in this one episode, because I can only assume we have to fight the Summon Spirit. That's why I'm going to save it right here. I hope I don't need to have Sheena in the party, because honestly, so far, Sheena... Huh. I can only say that she's just been more of a burden than a help. I like how none of them noticed this bridge of light heading up here. Do I have to... F Do the enemies here? Yes, the enemies respawned. Crap. Well, hopefully they don't come after me. Oh, it looks like they're passive now. There we go. Now I just gotta remember how to get down to the seal. I don't think I... I hope the puzzles all stayed put. No, oh, that guy wants my butt. He's not getting my butt. Yeah, I think it's down there. I think the puzzles say it the same. I don't think I need to change the uh, Sorcerer's Ring function to do this. If I could just avoid all the enemies, that'd be fantastic. Apparently this guy's not going to be avoid- Oh, no, he is. Nope, okay. <laughs> no, come on! I was really hoping I wouldn't have to fight any of these guys. Ah, oh, please tell me I don't have to do this again. Yeah, it looks like I have to do these puzzles again. Which means changing the Sorcerer's Ring function. I was really hoping that wouldn't be the case. At least these guys can still be stunned. Thank you. I mean, I really didn't want to have to do this again. Especially considering the fact that once I change the function of the Sorcerer's Ring, I can't go back. It's a stunning, these guys. Uh, which means the ones that chase me, especially on that narrow platform, are going to want my butt. And I don't want to assume the position to these guys, because these guys are just kind of annoying. Go ahead and get past this guy. This guy is going to be a dick about it. Ah! Uh, Photon. Double Demon Fang. Tempest. Oh, wow! Whoa, that looked cool! Photon Tempest, oh wow. I'm sure glad I showed this now. I suppose it was worth it. Lloyd gained a level. Uh. God damn it. I forgot the damn puzzle. Which means now I have to try to dodge all these guys. This guy's gonna be an asshole about it. And try to... F 
I hate the fact that these enemies are constantly trying to attack me, considering I've already beaten this area. If they're gonna force you to come back here for a side quest, they can either toughen up the enemies or get rid of them. Great, do I need to- I need to light the torches, don't I? Oh, no. I don't. I don't have to do it at all. There we are. I must admit, I'm interested as well. <laughs> I did not know that would be dialogue, my bad. A summoning pact. Hmm. It's easy for you to say. I, I might fail, you know. You'll do fine. I mean, I don't really know how it works, but... At least, Lloyd, you admit it. Lloyd's right. Showing a lot of confidence in a person who was trying to assassinate us only a few episodes don't back. Know anything about it. Fine, I'll do it. But don't blame me if something goes wrong and you get hurt. Alright, let's see how this works. Things are shaking. That's usually a sign of a boss. I'm wondering if I have to fight the spirits to, in order to eventually summon them, like in Final Fantasy. Well, hello there! You who possess the right of the pact. I am one who is bound to mythos. What is your name? Well, Undine, I don't care what your name is, you fine! Mythos? The hero of the Carlon War? Not only was Mythos a swordsman, he had the ability to summon as well? Mythos is a common boy's name. It's not necessarily Mythos the hero. I am Sheena. I seek a path with Undini. Undini, there we are. As things stand now, I cannot. W why? I am already bound by a pact. I cannot form two packs at the same time. Hmm. You mean you're packed with that Mythos guy? What am I supposed to do now? They never said anything about this at the research institute. <laughs> what should we do, Lloyd? Uh, huh. Well, can't you just get her to cancel the old pact? How? We don't even have any idea where this mythos person is. A summon spirit pact requires a vow. As long as the pact maker upholds that vow, the pact remains valid. How do you know anything about this, Kratos? That is correct. I know about that. The summon spirit approves the pact maker's vow and agrees to the pact. Exactly. Therefore, all you need to do is follow Lloyd's advice and request the annulment of the previous pact and form a new one. It's possible the previous pact maker has broken his vow, or he may have already passed away. Hmm, interesting. Is it really that simple? I suppose you could call it simple. But if the previous pact maker is still alive, and hasn't broken his vow, then there's nothing to do. Okay, I'll give him a shot. Undini, I am Sheena. I asked that thou annulst thy pact with Mythos. Why are you using thou and annulst? She was speaking perfectly normal sound English before. a new pact with me. Before I can allow the formation of a new pact, I must test your worthiness as a pact maker. Draw your weapons. Knew this was gonna happen. We have to fight. Let it begin. Okay. Um. Great. I need to keep. I need to keep Rain for the heals. I need to keep Genus for the spells. And Lloyd can be the damage soaker. So. There we are. Uh, let me make sure she's equipped. A uh, card of water would be very bad to use against Sheena. Uh, uh Undini. All right. Oh boy, my battery's low. Well, hell, hello, Undini. I wonder what happens if we lose the Herm. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna stop being a perv now and actually get on with the fight. Alright, so we have... Wind, Darkness, and Fire. It looks like... Alright, she, uh, resists... Oh, she has a lot of health. She resists, so... Uh, go ahead and... In Can I turn tech off? 
Because... Genus. Alright, that's off. You can use fire. Don't use icicle. Don't use spread if you have it. Alright. She is summoning. Uh... Wow, Spread did a lot of damage. Oh god, Guardian is saving my ass right now. Alright, uh, you can first aid me now. That'd be very much appreciated. And, you know, while you're at it, why don't you throw a melange gel at Sheena? Jesus, she is just spamming. I don't mind taking damage from Aqua Edge. I'll save TP for that. Alright. Wow, once you get into a combo, jeez. Please just keep using that. Ow. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh. Uh. You've made your point. All divide time. Uh. You need that. Holy. Alright, you first aid me. Are you okay? Alright. Okay, thank you, Guardian. She's using spread again? That didn't do a lot of damage. Ready. Ready. Jesus Christ, could you please stop using uh, spread? That's doing way too much damage. Ow. Hey, wait, is she in another overlimit? Jesus Christ, talk about spamming your over limit. Damn, she doesn't have a, uh, a spell for decreasing magic damage against. Woo! She almost done. I am yes. Impressed. <sighs> All right. Well, oh, Undini, the first boss I have struggled with. As a matter of fact, a couple times there, I thought I was done. Now swear your vow. Upon what vow do you form our pact? Right now, at this very moment, there are people who are suffering. I vow to save those people. Understood. I pledge my power to you, Sheena. Yay! We have our first summon spirit of the playthrough! This episode only took 25 minutes. About.
Yay! Sheena, you did it! Yeah, Sheena, you're amazing! As I recall, I did almost all the damage in that fight. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> oh, really? You rule! Oh, man, I can't wait until I get to see you summon Undini! You have a surprising breadth of knowledge, Kratos. I once had an acquaintance who was somewhat knowledgeable about summon spirits. An acquaintance. I see. That's not suspicious at all. Aquamarine! Learn S Seal of Water and Summon Water. Let's take a look at those. Alright, so, uh, under tech, Sheena. Summon Water, Summon Zundini, Summon Spirit of... Wow, Jesus! Adds Water Attribute to a party member's physical attacks. Ooh, that's interesting. Let's go ahead and see what that Aquamarine is. It would be under accessories more than like. Prevents accidents at sea. A gem received from the Summon Spirit. Hmm. I'll pretend I know what that is. Holy Ring recovers one out of fixed. Ooh, that's interesting. That's good for mages. And a Guardian Symbol increases defense by 10%. Alright, let's go ahead and equip some of these. So... Nope, I, I meant to equip. There we are. Uh, you. Uh, get the Aquamarine. Uh, Holy Ring. Strength and defense for you. Spirit Bangle, Magic Mist, Yadamir, Heal Bracelet, Stun Charm. There we are. Everyone has two, um... Oh, everyone has uh, two now, which is awesome. And I want Kratos back in the party. There we are. All right, we're going to end it off here. And at the start of the next episode, I will meet you guys back at the city of Luwin. Um, not Luwin. I will meet you guys at the... Okay, why can't I think about this suddenly? Wayfarer's Hut, I think they're called? I can't remember, wow. Why can't I remember that? Anyway, I'll meet you near the uh, one that's near Lake Umasi. Now that we have Undini, we're going to go there. And we're probably, hopefully, maybe, probably not going to get the Unicorn Horn. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, guys, take care.